stuff, as I said, it's the stuff that used to be called user-generated content. Uh, other people call it citizen journalism. Jeff Jarvis at buzzmachine.com calls it network journalism. And quite a few people call it audience submissions. I don't like any of those words, but stuff is all the stuff that people create and post and publish upline, uh, online for the purpose of sharing it with other people. So that might be as simple as rating a piece of content and sending it to dig. Um, bookmarking something and adding a tag to it and posting it to Delicious, which is a social bookmarking tool. How many people here know about Delicious? Just a quick show of hands. Okay, Delicious kind of does the same thing that Amazon recommends does. It's called social bookmarking because when you bookmark a piece of content, you can see who else has bookmarked it, what tags they've used, and then you can look through the stuff that they've bookmarked. So it's kind of like other people who bookmarked this or uh, sent it to their, their internet favorites also read this piece of content or also tagged this piece of content. It's really useful. Uh, it's kind of like browsing a library except the internet is your library. Um, other stuff that is included in here, photographs, video, comments, uh, voting, ranking, so all sorts of stuff. I use it as a kind of all-encompassing uh, term. In the past when we talked about stuff, we talked about creating big expensive platforms uh, that are expensive, often clunky. I'm talking things like message boards, chat rooms, voting functionality, rating systems, stuff like that. That, well, let's face it, the BBC is in broadcasting. We aren't in the business of building big discussion platforms, enterprise sized discussion platforms for hundreds of thousands, perhaps millions of people to use every day. So we made really, really clunky second rate attempts at it. Um, just have a look at our message boards sometimes, and you'll see that our software is several years behind in many instances, um, you know, in comparison to what a lot of the industry provides. Um, then, once we had a place for users to come, we wave our big flag in the air and said, come to us and experience our place and we'll hang out with you and we'll manage your discussions, uh, which is both time consuming, resource intensive, and creates all sorts of editorial and legal risks for us. Uh, I actually just finished a, a postgraduate diploma in law that the BBC sent me on because I was spending a lot of my time dealing with issues like libel, is it libel, is it contentious, is it potentially the BBC Manchester project is uh, a project that I'm involved in and I think it's a, a more honest approach and more potentially uh, sustainable approach to dealing with stuff. Um, we want to provide all our users with a quality experience. We want anybody who submits something to get that stuff seen by other people. Has anybody in here ever emailed a photo to the BBC? No? Oh, one or two people. Okay. Um, sorry, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Some people do. Uh, in fact, thousands and thousands of people do, and, and this is kind of a problem for the BBC. Um, you will have noticed on a lot of programs, especially the news programs, it says send your pics to your pics at bbc.co.uk. Well, send your pics of what? That's the question I find myself wondering first thing in the morning. And I think thousands of other people probably also wonder what they're supposed to send because there's lots of pictures of people's kittens playing with fluffy balls of yarn and cute things like that. that isn't really suitable for our website, or maybe it is, or maybe there could be some other place that we could put it. Maybe there would be, yeah, exactly. Um, maybe there could be some other way for people to share that content in a way that allows us to give users the good user experience that we want them to. You know, thousands of people email us stuff and never get a response other than a robot sending them back a response that says, we got your email, thanks. Um, and that's not a great user experience if you went out and spent three hours composing a photograph of a Christmas tree. Um, you know, you took the time and effort to send it to us. We should pay some attention to it. And we should, if we can, make it available for other people to look at. So what exactly um, is the Manchester Blog Project? Well, we've gone out and we found about ten, I think there might be a dozen now, existing blogs that we like, we think that their content fits our criteria for our editorial policies and producers' guidelines and we've linked to them. And what we do is every once in a while, we wrap some editorial around links to their posts, to their content. We've also invited, I think, five of them now on air to talk on BBC Radio Manchester about their blogs or events they're involved in, things they're involved in. Uh, and a few of those people have ended up on a program called Pods and Blogs, which Kevin might mention uh, because he was one of the people at the BBC behind it when it started. Um, but it's all about linking 
to them and sending them traffic and saying, hey, we saw this cool content, here's a link to it, go see it. Um, we're doing our first workshop in January. We're going to teach people how to put Google ads and Amazon ads on their websites. We want them to be able to do it, uh, do their blogging for free or in a sustainable way, just as we want to use their content in a, in a sustainable way, which is just linking to it. 